What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters, man. Let's get right off into this. Yeah, so apparently, let's address some things. Is chess as bad as people really say? Let's just be honest. And I'm going to give you my real assessment and break this thing down the way only Battle Truth can break it down. Is chess really as bad as people say? I'm going to say yes and no. I'm going to say yes and no. Performance-wise, yes. Bad. Very bad. When you can't get through your rounds and you continue to choke over and over again, yeah, that's bad. That's real bad. However, it's... The good thing about the situation is when he actually can get through his rounds or a round, whatever, the man going to be weak. Fire. If he write his own material, fire pen. And that's what a lot of people like about him because they know what he can really do if he can get it together and get through it. If he can get through it, one of the most dangerous persons in battle rap. A person you, look, when people go into battles against chess, they hope he choke. That's what they be banking on. That's what they be counting on. Please don't let him get through his rounds. Because see, that's how you usually could beat chess. See, here's the thing. When you rapping on the URL, so that's the league where all the greatest battle rappers in the country is up under. So they all competing at a high level against each other. Nine times out of 10, if you're really good and you're great and battle rapping, what's going to happen is your talent could at least give, get you one round. But if chess choking and giving you a round on top of your talent being good enough to get you a round, the battle is already won. Because it's only for the most part three rounds in a battle. So the battle is already won. Now, the thing about that is what keeps chess in the game is that people, first of all, he liked. And a lot of y'all don't understand the business of battle rap. I be listening to some of the things y'all be saying to be sounding stupid. Like y'all say things like this. Like I'm going to give you an example. Like none of them be like, I don't be messing up in my rounds. I don't be choking. Okay, and that means nothing if you not like and the people don't want you. You got to be liked by the people. You have to be in high demand because that's the name of the game, supply and demand. Chess came in the game winning because he had a lot of things working in his favor. One, he was actually good in rapping. Two, he was real young. So this community being a community of, old, community of older guys wanted to get behind a young guy, support him and encourage him. And when he did wrong, just like a little brother, you just encourage him like, it's going to be all right. You'll get him the next time, Jeff. But you did good, though. You tell him the areas he did good in. And, you know, that's how Chess is looked at in battle rap. He looked at it as that little brother, even though he grown as hell now, people still see him as that little guy. In their mind, they still think that dude like 16, 17 years old, even though he damn near 30 now. But that's how it's looked at in battle rap when it comes to him. And then for the most part, what helps him a lot, he don't do interviews, so he's not accessible to the point that you can hear him so much, you end up not liking him. So he could take his bumps and bruises and then 
be gone to the point that you miss him. That when you see him, it's high anticipated because you really get to see him. And you hope he do good again. So that's the thing. It don't matter that you get through your rounds. It don't matter that you ain't messing up. So when y'all be saying, Smack, why you ain't booking me? You booking twerk, twerk choking, chest twerk, uh, uh, choking. You get the name of people who messing up in battles, but guess what? The people like them. Twerk could keep getting booked even though he messed up because of a few reasons. See, this is another thing y'all never consider that these guys have booked in advance. So let's say Twerk booked for Gnome, but he might be booked for Summer Madness after Gnome, two on two after that. That's already lined up for him. So even if he choked at Gnome, he still was booked for Summer Madness uh, 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 regardless to what the outcome was. And this for and this for a lot of them, when y'all be asking foolish questions like that, why they keep getting booked? Because they got a fan base that like them and in high demand, and URL and them can look at the numbers and tell when they on the cards, how it goes, how the numbers fluctuate. They can see that. They know how they pack houses when they names mentioned. And even though Chess choke, Chess got a lot of people in battle rap and his battle rap community that like that dude. And let me tell you something about his choking. That could even become a part of entertainment. See, 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 that actually worked for him. You know why it worked for him? Because it's sort of like the Mayweather effect. Mayweather ain't a, if you know anything about boxing, that ain't somebody you want to watch box. Because he a boring boxer. He ain't finna knock nobody out. He ain't finna bloody nobody up. He finna pace himself throughout the rounds, stay up on the points, and you got to catch him. And he real fast. So he ain't he ain't gonna let you get off on him. You hit him, he gonna grab and hold you. Ref gonna come separate it. Now you gotta chase him again. So you're doing 12 rounds of chasing. But people like to go watch him fight to see him lose. A lot of people want to see him lose. Some people want to just see him get hit. Some people keeping track of the perfect record. Who, can, who, can, who came close to actually putting that first loss on him? There's a lot of things working in favor. Same thing with chess. Now it becomes entertaining to see if he going to choke. Oh, chess on the card. Okay. So I hope he can get through his rounds. See, that become entertaining. Sometimes people don't be frustrated at that. They just want to know if their curiosity was right. I knew it. I knew he was going to choke. I knew he was going to slip up. But guess what? If he don't choke, you get a fire chest. If he do choke, just like you expected. So even in his failures, it's a win-win situation because it becomes a part of entertainment. I'm going to give you another example. Look what just happened not too long ago with Shayna Ashley and Tori Doe at Chrome 23. Tori Doe didn't rap not one round. Shayna Ashley rapping. Do you know that the battle was more exciting and entertaining because Tori Doe didn't rap? If she would have rapped, it probably wouldn't even been entertaining. It was entertaining because she didn't rap. And it was funny when you're looking at the expressions of people's faces, how everybody looking like, is she for real? Is she serious? Sometimes that become better than a battle of where the person is rapping. It's little things like that. Because don't forget, this is entertainment. This is entertainment. And that's the thing about chess I could say about him. The man got a fire pen. He get through his material, crazy work. Crazy work. Ain't too many people walking away with a victory from him if he get through his material. And when that dude be cooking, he be cooking. 
And let's keep it real. He choked, but you want him to win. You want little bro to win. You want to see him overcome that giant. And I think one of the reasons why he do so, why he choke a lot, most of his chokes come from being in front of a lot of people. That might got something to do with it too. That got that might got something to do with it too. He better, he performed better in small settings. He usually always choked in front of a large crowd. So he needs to consider that and probably start doing battles that he's more comfortable at. But he got a lot of things working in him because brothers don't want to see him lose. They know his potential and what he really can do. Sometimes people just want to see him choke just to say that he can. So all that work in his favor. He chokes work in his favor. And he got a big fan base. He got a big fan base. So he can get away with messing up. And sometimes you could give a round so fire. See, this is the thing that you have to get surfed by. When Surf wasn't doing third rounds for like two, three years straight, I even saw Smack reward him one day. After all the stigma was on him and not coming with thirds and Smack even did an announcement about it. Like he going to start docking people who choking and ain't getting through their rounds and things like that. He went on record saying he was going to give them pay cuts. Right after that, surf battle rum nitty. Choke, don't even do a third. Walk off stage. Surf thinking, smack, smack into the door. Surf, smack into the door. Surf thinking he finna get in trouble. Smack reward him with love, like, man, you did your thing tonight, such and such. Then when he seen he was in the clear, he like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, you know, I tried this. He like, yeah, you, you got off. What did that mean? First of all, Smack really wasn't mad because they sold out the venue. So the money was made regardless to if Surf choke or get through his rounds. Second of all, the pay-per-views was out of the uh, – uh, uh, out of sight. They see the numbers as it's going. It's a show. You're going to always check on the money. What are we looking at on the door? What's them pay-per-views looking like? So you so you already know on that, like, oh, so it's a good night. This is a successful event. He going there. He showed surf love. Like, oh, you did your thing. He didn't do no third round, though. Like you said, you was going to start docking people. Didn't have to. It was a successful event. Sold out venue. Pay-per-views going crazy. You gave me two fire rounds. Okay, you didn't give me a third, but you gave me two fire rounds. So I take that. Same thing with Chess. He could choke. But if he give you a fire round within them chokes, people ain't really looking at that choke like that. That's what got twerk by on a lot of stuff. Twerk, one of the most explosive dudes in battle rap. I don't know nobody in battle rap energy great higher higher than his. And when he shake a room, he shake a room. Yeah, he choke and mess up and do it. A few things. But when that man get through his rounds, that man is dangerous. And that man could give you one explosive round that could be called the round of the night. Better than anything anybody said throughout the whole night who rapped three rounds. And when you effective like that, and when you got impact like that, you can get away with a whole lot. And that's exactly what it is when it comes to chess. Yeah, he choked a lot in battles. Can he rap? Yeah. Do he got a fire pin? Yeah. Do people want to see him win? Yeah. Do people want to see him choke? Yeah. So that becomes a selling point too. Because people want to see it. 
So it works in his favor if he choke, if he don't choke. If he don't choke, you're going to get a fire chest. If he do choke, you're going to be laughing. Y'all going to be you. No, the people don't really get mad when he choked. They be like, oh, man, ch ch choked again. And I knew he was going to choke. I knew he was going to choke. So that's not, now that's being marketed. Will he choke this time? Will he? Now that's being marketed. So it works in his favor. It don't work against him. So do I believe chess is as bad as people say? No. But it could be looked like that as a result of him not getting through his rounds a lot. But when you see the overall of what he brings to the table, it worked for him.